Hey, it's Clara at Redemption Farms. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your start your own sourdough. And I'm super excited because this is something that I kill and I love knowing that I can start my own sourdough. So um, I'm going to show you a couple things that you need. First, you're going to need a clean glass bowl. This is a two and a half quart um, glass bowl. And then you're going to need a plate, also a very clean glass plate with like a side on it. Um, you're going to need that. And then you're going to need a flour sack towel or a muslin cloth towel, something that's unbleached. Um, and I'm going to tell you how to clean it before I forget. Um, if you boil this um, for five minutes in like baking soda water, then that is like a really good way to sanitize that. Um, you're gonna need your flour. I have this, I, I just use like the all-purpose white bleach flour. Um, you can use a white wheat flour, you can use um, a quinoa flour, you can use any flour you want and you can use the same method. They might look a little different, but the same, like, yeah, same principles. Um, you're gonna need a dough hook. You don't need this, it's just really handy. Um, and then, or you can just use a wooden sp spatula. I don't use a wooden spatula because I really, really love this. And then a silicone scraper. You can tell I just did mine, so that's why th these are dirty. Um, and then also your 1 8 measuring cup. This is a, I got these, a pack of three off of Amazon also, and I absolutely love these. Um, I keep one for water and then I actually keep one in my flour jar just for easy because you're going to feed twice a day. So um, before you start, gather your ingredients. You can get all this stuff off Amazon if you don't have it in your kitchen. Um, I do recommend glass. I recommend that you make sure it, there's no chips in there, that it's very uh, like a solid glass. And but I found honestly most of this stuff comes from like thrift stores or garage sales or auctions. Um, that's where I got mine, so I did not go spend a lot of money to start this. Um, so basically, before you start, gather your ingredients and then decide which day you want to start because that day for the next three weeks you're gonna be like it's kind of be like a bake day. Um, so all you're gonna need is your flour. I'm going to move this over so you can see it. You need your flour and you take three of the 1 8 cup of flour and put it in your bowl like this. I always just kind of smooth off the top so it's even. You need three of those and then I'll just put my lid back on and put it back on the shelf. It's right by my starter and then you need really good clean water um distilled water like it's really important to have good quality water for this because um most people that have problems with their sourdough is a lot of it comes from the water so you put two one eighth cups of water in there and that is all you do for the first day you stir it you get it all mixed up the water and the flour mix everything up and um, it's kind of a it's not runny at all it's actually kind of thick that first day um, get all the lumps in there stir it up real good and then you're gonna take your silicone scraper and just scrape down the sides it's I always really like um, keeping the sides clean and scraped down because I feel like if I don't, then when I'm cleaning my bowl, it's just, it's harder. It's a lot more work than if, if you kept it clean. But this is what it looks like. Just a little pile. It's not a lot. It doesn't look like a lot and it's not a lot. And then I take my water and I fill this plate about halfway full of water. And that is what you're going to use. You're going to take your cloth and cover it so it is um, can wick water up and keep the moisture up there. So this needs to be tucked in very well because if it's not, it will it can wick water out. And that's what you do for day one in the morning. 
And then, like, let's say I did this at like 8 a.m. So tonight at um, 8 p.m., I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna put three of the 1 8 cups of flour in and two waters and stir it, scrape it down, cover it back up. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna check my water level down here and just you do that for seven days so in the morning and the evening you put your um flour three one eighth cups of flour and two waters in and then on day seven is bake day so you take everything out and pour it into your glass i have an eight cup measure i love this it's also from pamper chef um but I, I think you can get like it doesn't need to be I'm totally one that like I'm a Walmart girl I'm an Amazon girl like it does not yeah need to be expensive I'm actually a thrift <laughs> thrifter is even better but I pour all of this that I have the whole week's worth I pour in here I take a half a cup and I pour it I'm getting ahead of myself then I take I pour everything in here and then I take my plate I take my bowl and I take my towel. I wash everything. I get a new towel and I get all of that ready. And then I put a one half cup back in here. I feed it the three um, one eighth cup of flour and the two of water. And I stir it up and I cover it. And that is my feeding for that morning. And then I have my sourdough that I had dumped off I have in here. That week you can make pancakes with it waffles um anything that doesn't need a rise you can make that i made pancakes i made a whole bunch of pancakes um and just put them in the freezer because we didn't yeah we didn't eat them all that day um i am not going to add any recipes just because um there's so many different recipes you can go on pinterest and get recipes like there's just i have some cookbooks with recipes um but make pancakes or waffles with that first thing you can use it all up and there is absolutely no waste um that's what I like about this the other time I was doing sourdough like I it was a bigger amount that I was adding every day and I just had like this enormous amount of sourdough and I was dumping it away I had it in mason jars and it was getting all crusty and it was just like uh this has worked so well for me and I absolutely love it and if you forget a feeding it's pretty like it's okay you can just maybe double feed it the next day and just get an extra feeding in at lunch or something um and then you start feeding it so that was day seven and then day eight through 14 you continue to do the same thing every morning and every evening you feed it the three one eighth cups of flour and also one more thing if you don't have an eighth, eighth cup measure this is equivalent to two tablespoons so it would be, if you don't have that, like it's just easier for me, it was easier for me to get those. But if you don't have that, it is equivalent to one eighth cup is equivalent to two tablespoons. So you can use that too. Um, and then you do the feeding in the morning and the evening for, um, till day 14. On day 14, you do the exact same thing. You take your bowl, you pour everything into here, you clean it. Just clean the bowl really good, get the plate clean, get a new towel, just have everything clean. You put a half a cup back into here and feed it. Just like you do, like you're starting over. Then you have all your sourdough again. That day you should have enough to do make like a batter bread. And when I do a batter bread, whoa, sorry. When I do a batter bread, I put it in a casserole dish, a round casserole dish with a lid. Put it in here and um and just yeah, make like you can have a nice round because those don't need that much of a rise. And so you can do a batter, batter bread for or in that. Then you go back to doing the same thing. Um, just feed it from day 14, morning and evening to 21. On day number 21, you do the same thing. You take all everything out of your bowl. And, but this time you're going to take your mason jar not with water in it, your clean mason jar that's dry, and you're gonna put a half a cup of your starter in here, and you're gonna feed it, stir it, and cover it um, with like even like a plastic lid, like those turn up, like screw on lids. I don't have one with me right now. Put it on here, and then to test, you should be, your sourdough should be at a place where you can make bread, like the regular loaf bread. 
Um, and the way to test it is um, after you put, you put, like you have your, all your dough in, or your starter in here, and then you take, you feed it. You fed the one that you, you fed the one that you put in the mason jar, and then you're also feeding the one that you dumped into here. Because every time, every time you make bread, every time you make anything with it, you want to feed it just before, um, two to three hours before you use it. So hopefully that's not confusing. Um, I'm just going to do day 21 over. So you have your plate, your, your stuff in here, you dump it into here and you take a half a cup, you put it in your mason jar, you feed this one, you put that in your fridge because your, your starter should be mature. And then you take this, this is where all the sourdough is at, and this is what you're going to have to work with today. And so you take that, and you feed it, and you um, take two tablespoons, which would be one-eighth cup, and you have two pint jars, okay? And you take a one-eighth cup in one, one-eighth cup in the other. You're going to test it to see if it's strong enough to actually make bread. So you're going to put two tablespoons in one pint, two tablespoons in the other pint, and then you're gonna put one on the counter and one on the, in the refrigerator for three hours. And you're gonna pull the one out of the refrigerator after three hours, and if the one on the counter has rise to double the size of the one in the refrigerator, you know that it, it can rise, like that it can hold the rise of making um, loaf bread. So, then you should be ready because you you fed it just before you did that, and so you should be ready to um, to uh, bake with it. And so we absolutely we love sourdough. We have done so much with sourdough. I just started mine. I just got back into it, and like I just I love knowing how to start it because I kill it, and I absolutely love how you know. Um, how to start it. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, I am going to start a Facebook page and I would love for you to join me. Um, it's called Redemption Farm and it will have my profile picture on it so you will know um, where like because I think there's other Redemption Farms and um, it'll have my profile picture so you'll know where to find it and I figured it would just be so cool to like have a bunch of people, have a community, surrounded with a community of people starting their sourdough, making bread, doing like pancakes, making cake, making crackers, like all this stuff. And we would all be in there helping each other because I know there's so many of my friends that also do sourdough and they have like amazing ideas. And I definitely am not a like, oh, I got this. I, I'm the like, no, I am learning. I love to teach what I learn. I love sharing and I love sharing ideas. And so I figured if we go over, hop over there, if you find me on Facebook, and we could build a community there where we share tips, we share ideas, um, and just have fun with this. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this, this. And just, I can't wait to share more videos and to, I'm not sure what my next, I, I have a couple ideas what my next videos are. And I'm just super excited. I just thank you for watching and have an incredible day. Be blessed.